Hi, I'm Gary Trenda. I'm an RF Applications Engineer at Sound Devices. We're here today in a parking lot in Madison, Wisconsin in sort of an industrial area. Apologies for the audio, but this would be a good place to show you what our new Q-meter is all about. Uh, Q-meter is something we've added in version 5 firmware for Sound Devices wireless products. Uh, what the Q-meter is going to show you is the quality of your signal. And so, besides our receive signal strength indicator, which basically tells you the RF signal level, now we're also showing you the quality of the signal, meaning like how well is it receiving the audio from my transmitter versus any local interfering signal. And to really demonstrate that well, what we've set up is an 833 mixer recorder here, which is recording my audio from two different lav mics going into two different A10 transmitters. We've got an SL2 here with an A10 receiver. On one side of the receiver, we've got a microphone tuned very close to a local DTV station. In fact, if you look behind me here, we're about two miles away from a local DTV transmitter. So that's going to be a strong interfering signal for us. So that's channel one. Channel two is tuned to clean, nice open spectrum. And so we're going to see the difference here. Right now I'm very close and both channels are working well. But as I start to walk away from the cart, you're going to start to see some changes in that cue meter. And so as that Q-meter changes, what I'm telling you is local TV transmitter is really As that interference tough time my transmission versus the local TV transmission. And you're going to start to hear some dropouts in the audio. You should see that channel 2 stays nice and strong because there's no interfering signal on channel 2. So here we are. We're about 75 feet away from the cart. Channel 2 is still working well, but we're having some problems with Channel 1. So what happens now? Well, let's find a better frequency for Channel 1. And the Q-meter helped us make that decision, like, hey, we really should refrequency this receiver. So where do we want to go? I happen to know in Madison there's nothing in lower UHF TV band, TV14, TV15. So we're going to head back to the cart. We're going to retune that first uh, receiver, and we're going to redo our walk test. So now I'm back at the receiver. I'm going to go into that first channel. We're changing frequencies. We're going to dial down to TV channel 14. And then we're going to match up that frequency on my transmitter. And you're going to see as soon as I get the transmitter retuned, that Q meter is going to come back up. We're going to have five bars of Q. And now we're going to do the same walk out into the other parking lot. We're going to see what happens. Okay, so now we're back at our test location. We've got good audio from both of our transmitters. We're ready to keep going with our day. If you want more information about the Q-Meter, we've got an article posted up on our website, sounddevices.com. Thanks for watching.